Hello, it's Mike from Retro and Vintage Watches and Restorations and this video is about what you can see in front of you here which is my new budget ultrasonic cleaner. This cost me about 37 UK pounds and what sets it apart from the one I had previously besides it being a better built model it's got a heating control uh, which is quite useful. Um, so I'll give you a little lowdown of what you're looking at here. So we have a lid, we take the lid off. And you can see that this is the capacity. The one I've bought here is a two litre. They start at 1.3 and they go up to, I don't know, something quite large. Um, the 1.3 doesn't come with a basket. The two litre comes with a basket and onwards and upwards. Actually looks like a, a deep fat fryer to me. If we take the basket out and turn it round so you can see the the model number, the PS10A, I'm presuming. And the interesting part is the ultrasonic power of 80 watts. I believe the bigger they go, the more output they've got as well. Uh, but this is pretty good. Again, for the price. Uh, it's all made out of stainless steel, as you can say, see the inside is quite tidy too. So, we will plug it in, and we'll switch it on, and it has a readout like the uh, DeLorean of uh, Back to the Future. Only this one doesn't say 1985. Um, so what we have over this side is the heating control and this is the timer control. It presets to 50 degrees Celsius. At the moment it's telling me the actual is 14. Uh, it's not 14, I'm in my garage and it's about six or seven degrees in here at the moment, but I've just brought this in from the house. Um, and of course we've got the timer control. So what I will do now is add some water. Well, we'll put the basket back in and we'll add some water. Now this is, I've already got some warm water to try and speed things up a little bit. And I'm gonna pour that in. There is a level on these. Which is quite high it's uh, somewhere up here and to set the heater on we would set the temperature I can change it as you can see we'll keep it at 50 we'll switch on blue light comes on the lights flash and obviously once it hits 50 degrees it's going to be ready so we'll start this video again in a moment when it's reached 50 Okay, so we're hovering at 48, sometimes 49 degrees. It doesn't seem to want to get to 50, but it's probably the ambient temperature in my garage. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to wash a whole bunch of uh, watch bracelets here. All for restorations that I'm currently working on. Um, as you can see, a whole good selection. You can see here this one's got a bit of uh, sort of glue or tape or something on it. Always inside these clasps. They're pretty dirty. Again, like that one. It's all full of crud. Uh, normally I'd use a, a degreaser. I've got a special liquid I put in this to, to wash these. Um, but just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to use Fairy. So just ordinary dish uh, dish soap. Squirt a bit inside. And I'm just going to place them all in. Now I'm trying to lie them out a little bit. And 
I've got a case. Oops. Got a case back to. Uh, I'm going to set it to run for 15 minutes. And to get it to go, we're going to press this button here. Now, before I set it off, uh, if any of you have been following some of the discussions on the forum, uh, it does make a bit of a noise, this one. I know from previous recordings of doing ultrasonics, it, they sound even worse through the... Uh, through the camera than they do in in real uh, but we'll give it a go i think mine's got a little bit of a quirk i can get it started and it takes a minute or two before it's up to full revs should i say um so here we go as you can hear it's not too bad but for me it does get louder i'll also add that the lid it comes with, I wouldn't recommend using. It now sounds like a really bad taser. So we'll let that go for 15 minutes, we'll come back and we'll see how good it is. Okay, that's it. So after 15 minutes, obviously the temperature's gone up with the friction that's going on inside. I'll try and move my camera as best I can for you to have a little look inside at basically all that lovely DNA that's come off those uh, bracelets. Now what I would normally do now is run it at least another once sometimes twice, um, but we'll just take um, something out at random. And you can see here under that clasp, it still hasn't quite lifted the dirt off, although I, you know, once you rinse these, it'll come off. Um, but essentially, that's it. For the money, it's great. If you can bear the noise, even better. Um, all I can left to say really is thanks for watching um, and don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and if you're into watches come and join our Facebook group which is uh, Retro and Vintage Watches and Restorations. Hope to see you there. Thanks for now.